The race for the White House is closing in on its final stretch as each candidate pitches its closing arguments to voters. So far, more than 45 million Americans have cast their ballots with exactly one week to go. Here's ABC's Christiane Cordero. With one week left in the race for the White House, today former President Trump is at Mar-a-Lago ahead of a rally tonight in Pennsylvania, trying to do damage control after the fallout from his rally in Madison Square Garden over the weekend. Several speakers on stage made racist, misogynistic and crude comments, including one from a comedian who equated Puerto Rico to an island of garbage. She's going out and only criticizing, talking about Hitler and Nazi and because her record's horrible. Trump this morning telling ABC News he has not watched the comedian's comments, insisting, quote, I don't know him. Someone put him up there. I don't know who he is. Trump's campaign has tried distancing itself from the comedian, saying his comment doesn't reflect the views of the former president, but has not denounced the other comments made at the rally. In Georgia last night, Trump made no reference to the backlash, instead bragging about the rally itself. We could have filled it up 10 times. If you looked outside, you saw the all the way back to the Hudson River. Vice President Harris accuses Trump of stoking hate and division, and tonight she'll be in Washington, delivering her closing argument to voters from where Trump made his speech on January 6, 2021, before the attack on the Capitol. Speaking with radio host Charlemagne the God this morning, Harris pushed back against the assertion that she's struggling to gain support among black men. The black men in particular who are at the rallies have recently been saying to me, don't you listen to that, and they got to stop with all that noise. We support you. In the home stretch of the campaign trail, the VP has tried bringing her economic pitches front and center, with the cost of living top of mind for many voters now heading to the polls. So together we will build a future where we bring down the cost of living. That will be my focus every single day as president. Harris's rally tonight is at 730. The National Park Service doubled its approved permit as it now expects 40,000 people will attend. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington.